What's up guys, MGH here and welcome to my final BPL team where I'll be discussing summer signings on FIFA 14 career mode, combining both real life signings and signings that could potentially help the team in FIFA as well. Now Tottenham being obviously Arsenal's arch rivals, I don't know too much about the club, I don't really read into them. Um, so what I've done is I've actually got some help from Twitter followers, from you guys who are Spurs fans or neutrals. Um, and you guys have kindly helped me out, telling me about some players that Spurs are linked with. But before I did that, I actually checked some websites, I did some research, and I've picked out quite a few signings that I think could both really help Spurs in real life and in FIFA. So, as always, we're going to start off by looking at their best formation and starting lineup I think they can get. Sorry for my squeaky chair, it's really pissing me off that. Um, right, in goal we've got obviously Laurie, uh, or Loris, however you want to say it. He is probably, arguably, one of the best keepers in the Premier League. He's so quick. He gets off his line so quick. And if he was if he was to go, I think Spurs already, like, that's a massive loss to them. So they need to keep hold of Lloris. I think he's fantastic. We've got Walker at right back. You know, you could argue their best right back they've ever had in history. And I believe he was actually voted in as that, um, you know, the best right back in Spurs history. So, you know, it's not bad for, what is he, 23 years old, probably 24 now. Um, but yeah, definitely need to keep hold of him as well. At the back, it's, it's pretty easy for me. In terms of in FIFA, I'd always go with Kirikes or Chiriches. He's got an odd name. Sorry, I can't do that one. Um, and Vertonghen, that's what I'd go with in FIFA. Dawson and Kabul could be on the bench in FIFA. But in real life, you know, it's very difficult because Dawson, you know, he's been playing for them a lot. Um, I think he's very error prone. I think sometimes he just, he just, yeah, he just makes errors that maybe he shouldn't. And Kabul... You know, gets sent off quite often and makes a makes defensive mistakes. And every time Kidikes has been playing, he's done very well for Tottenham. So I'd go with this back too. And Rose at left back. Now they obviously do have Esu Okoto out on loan at QPR, who will be returning this summer. But I'd stick with Danny Rose and potentially look to bring in a left back. So we'll be talking about that soon. I think that's probably their weakest position in their team. Now in midfield, in a 4-2-3-1, we've got two CDMs here, Sandro and Paulinho. Obviously, we have the likes of Kapue who could come on. Lennon on the right could use uh, Lamella, who we've got down here. But Lamella, I don't know if he's going to be there next year. I think he's, he's, he's realised that Spurs possibly isn't the club he first thought it was going to be, and he might be on his way out. Uh, on the left, in FIFA, I'd go for Ericsson, but I, I much, much prefer to play him in the middle on FIFA, so... I'm only putting him on the left because I've got Dembele I want to squeeze into the team. But I've, I think Ericsson is brilliant in the middle in real life too. So whether, you know, the new manager that they get wants to play him on the left or down the middle, either way, Ericsson is, I'd say, their best player. He really is. Dembele in the middle, real good powerhouse, good on the ball, um, and will score goals and help defend. And up front, <laughs> Soldado, he's, he's had an awful season. There's no denying it, Spurs fans. You all expected a lot of goals from him and it just hasn't happened. But... You know what? That, that can happen. And I think maybe next season you'll be seeing a different striker. Obviously, I hope not because everyone likes poking fun at him. It's kind of like a Twitter thing. Everyone has a go at Soldado all year because he just hasn't performed. But if he does perform, he will shut everyone up. And let's be honest, he's got the talent. He scored many, many goals in the Liga BBVA. And I'm sure he could do the same in the Premier League once he settles in. But it's taken a time, a lot of time for him to do so. And... Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure Spurs fans will be hoping he does well next year. But anyway, on the bench, like I said, Dawson, Kabul, Capuo. We've got Ben Taleb, the youngster. He seems like a very good young player. Chadley, Lamella and Adebayor. I'm not sure if he'll be there next year either, but we'll soon find out. I don't think there's too much wrong with that bench. But, you know, we're going to be talking about the signings now because obviously that's what this series is about. So let's go into my shortlist. These are the players that I think Tottenham should be going for both in real life and signings that maybe you should be making when FIFA 15 drops this summer. Now, in defence, a story. We've got Laporte, Kulka, who obviously left Tottenham to go to Cardiff. Then we have Luke Shaw, who pretty much is Man United bound, but I've, I've added him in because he has been linked with Tottenham. And Fabio Coentrao, we'll talk about him way more in the, in the minute. Uh, we've got Ander Herrera, who was famously meant to be going to Man United, but then on the last day kind of backfired. There were some sort of issues with it. And then up front, Lukaku, links with Tottenham a lot. We then got Welbeck and Hernandez as well, both United players. But let's go back to Contra. Now, this guy was meant to be going on loan to Man United last, uh, well, was it the last transfer window or the window before? But it didn't quite happen. And now it does seem that Man United have acquired Luke Shaw, we're not sure how much, probably up to 30 million or so. 
but it does seem that Luke Shaw is on his way. So therefore, they would not need Fabio Coentrao. So I would say Spurs should go for him. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to inquire to see how much Coentrao should be. I think we can get him for around five, six million. That'd be pretty good. And a Herrera, no idea if he's the kind of player who'd want to go to Spurs. But if I'm honest, guys, I don't think Tottenham's problem is their midfield. I think it's actually pretty good. They've got some very decent players in there. But for the sakes of this video, and because obviously we do combine FIFA, Herrera is a great, versatile midfielder in this game. So we're going to go ahead and try and sign him as well. Up front, Lukaku is the most heavily linked, but he is currently on loan to Everton in, uh, in career mode. So we, we are unable to actually go for him. So what we'll do is we will go for Danny Welbeck instead because I think he would be a much better fit than Hernandez because I feel that Tottenham, they do have quite a large physical team and I think that's what Welbeck brings. Bit of pace, bit of um, you know strength, brute strength. Hernandez wouldn't be bad, but um, for the sakes of you know my budget not being too big, Hernandez will cost more, so we'll go for Welbeck. But I think either of these strikers would do well. I would go for Welbeck personally if I was you know looking at doing this in real life for Tottenham. But let's um, go ahead and advance here and see how much we're going to be spending. We've got Ander Herrera back here, 19 million. It's a lot of money and I don't think it's quite worth that. Let's see if there's any players we could potentially shift in the deal. Let's have a look here. I don't think there is really. No, we're going to have to go straight up cash here. I'm going to offer up 15 million. He will be the biggest signing we make uh, in terms of value. So that should be, I hope, enough to bring him in because he would do great there. Cohen Trow, 17.5. That's ridiculous. Right, I'd offer up Norton. I think he's absolutely useless, in my opinion. So let's see if we can find him. And let's, yeah, there he is, right back, 1.6 million. Let's see if we can get Cohen Trow for about 12.5 plus Norton. I don't think that's quite going to work, but we'll soon find out. Danny Welbeck, just 12 million. Adebayor apparently is looking to leave Tottenham because, you know, they, he doesn't have the faith from the, uh, the board. Tim Sherwood did a great job with Adebayor, so I, I bet he's gutted that he's gone. But we're going to go ahead and offer Adebayor up for Welbeck because they are very, very similar players. They play very similar styles and will offer 5 million. So that should be just enough, I think. And let's see what happens here. But out of all of these players, Cohen Trow is the one I absolutely need. It's unacceptable, right? They want a little bit more. So we're going to offer 14 and a half. It might mean that we just don't, we won't be able to buy um, either Welbeck or Herrera, but I think a striker is slightly more important. So that's that one. Transfer for here for Hugo Lloris. There's no way I'd let him go, especially to Chelsea, arch rivals. You know, I was thinking this about um, Lukaku, obviously being a Chelsea player out on loan to Everton. Why would Chelsea want to sell Lukaku to Tottenham? It doesn't make sense whatsoever, but, you know, it's up to them, isn't it? Mourinho can be a bit weird like that. But Welbeck's offer has been accepted now. It's just a contract. Four years, 60,000. Crucial first team player. I would definitely play him in the team over Soldado at the start. Proven Premier League player. Welbeck, you know, not necessarily known for his goal scoring ability, but he's a nuisance to defenders, that's for sure. Uh, Real Madrid have accepted the offer. Norton at, Ma at Madrid. Fucking hell. <laughs> that's quite scary. Um, we're going to give him crucial first team player. I think he would need that to join. He is only a squad rotation player at, uh, at Real Madrid, which is... It's a good thing. It means you can sign him very easily. But there you go. Danny Welbeck has accepted. And we've now got 33 million. We might be able to get Herrera, you know. We might be able to do this. And most of that, I think, is because um, Adebayo's wages are very high on this game. So we've, sa we've saved a lot of money doing that. There's Cohen Trowell. And we've still got 18 million. So Herrera could still be on the cards here. I think we can actually do this. Let's go ahead and make an offer. A proper offer here. Go to my shortlist. Herrera. They wanted 19 million. Oh, hang on. I deleted it, didn't I? So we need to go into my... If I can remember where it is. Not that one, is it? There we go. Transfer negotiations. Sent. And a Herrera. Right. Let's go for a little bit more here. 17 million. is all I've got, basically, to sign this last midfielder here. Let's see if that is going to be enough. Herrera would be a great signing. He really would be. And there's Vertonghen. Arguably their best defender. No way I'd sell him, but he probably want he probably will want to go at some point if he's not getting Champions League football because the Tongan's good enough to play for a top four team, so it's a bit of a difficult one. Now there's an offer for Kabul. I think Tottenham may actually accept an offer like that for Kabul. I, I don't know how, how much they like Kabul, so let me know in the comments below, Spurs fans. Is he regarded as a very important player in the squad? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just what shall I do? 
Do I accept it and just get that little bit of cash or do I reject it? It's only 3 million, so I'm actually going to go ahead and reject that. I think he's worth keeping for 3 million. If, he, if I was offered maybe 5 or more, I'd be more considerate and maybe take that. But there we go. Transfer for accepted for Herrera. Four years, crucial first team player. And I would definitely play him as a kind of cam, a central attacking midfielder. Although he does have the capability to get back and defend, much like the other player I'm playing is Cam there, Dembele. Offer for Sandro, he really wasn't favoured by Tim Sherwood, but I'm sure he'll be playing for the next manager. But that is a very good offer, a £10.5 million offer. Very good indeed, but I think Sandro's better than most people think. He's a very good midfielder, very strong, good in the ball, and he can hit a few goals in, that's for sure. He scored some crackers, hasn't he? There you go, Herrera has accepted, and boom, we've spent all of our money, guys. 1.9 million left with 70,000. Let's go ahead and put these players into the team and see what it looks like. So, Soldado will be dropped. We will be bringing in Welbeck. He is a, low, a lower-rated player, but I'd argue he would do a better job. And instead of Dembele, we'd go with Herrera, like that. And then in defence, we would obviously go ahead and switch, if I can find him. Oh, no, sorry, it, wasn't, it was um, Contral, wasn't it? My bad. And then Cohen Trout on the left. So there you go, guys. It's a very, very strong team now, actually. And I think get the right manager in. And if they can get a team like this, similar to this, I think they will have a much better shot at getting top four, top five. I don't think they will make it ever into the top four with the current squad they've got. They need to improve it. So maybe these signings is exactly what they would want. But Welbeck would do very well up front, I think. I think Ander Herrera in the middle there would do a very nice job. A good playmaker, especially with Ericsson there as well. That'd be a very, very good front five, um, including Lennon possibly, or uh, obviously if they keep Lamella. And the new left back, partnered with these three, it's a pretty decent, balanced um, back four. So very impressive. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, especially you Spurs fans, because I wouldn't normally touch Spurs stuff, but I felt like I wanted to talk about them because I do think there are ways to improve the team and potentially do better in the table. What it is, is they need to score more goals and concede less. Basically, every team needs to do that, but really Tottenham do. Their goal difference was pretty embarrassing this season, despite actually being in the top six pretty much the whole season, which was pretty impressive, despite having that poor defensive record. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. If you do want to buy some FIFA coins, you can get them very cheap and instantly at thegamekeys.co.uk. The link is below, and you can get 5% off using the discount code MGH. And I will see you for my brand new career mode. Yes, that's right. A brand new career mode in the next few days. I'm working on it as we speak and it's going to be good.